hi guys welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for clicking basically in today's class we're going to understand how to configure web server email server and FTP server okay so I believe at the end of this video everybody who will watch it to the end will have a full knowledge how to configure the three servers okay and also guys if you're new to this channel we really need your support we still haven't got enough subscribers please click on the subscribe button like our video and let us know what you're thinking on the comments part all right thank you so much guys and let's begin web server so basically web server is used to respond to clients requests in form of web pages for example if i go to my browser okay and I type facebook.com that's a request from a client this the computer here is a client okay so the web server will respond in form of web pages so these are web pages okay from a web server all right okay email server email server basically is used to send receive process and store mails for example you are gmail you have a gmail account okay it uses email server okay all right so FTP server FTP server basically is used to upload or download files okay so we are gonna use FTP server to upload or download files okay all right so let's get into the configuration part guys basically I've already drew a diagram here and uh, included several comments as you can see we have a diagram here we have uh, a router two switches and three servers and finally two pieces and the, this line here has a network of this one this line here has a network of this one okay so for example this computer here the IP address of this computer is a static IP address 1.2 and the gateway is 1.1 the gateway is IP address of this router's interface okay the same way on the other side, this side, the web server, the IP address of the web server is 2.2 .2 and the default gateway is 2.1 and the 2.1 is IP address of this router's interface. The router's interface, okay? Okay. And it's consistent on all these devices. Same way, the IP address of this one is the default gateway of all these devices, okay? For example, this is PC3. The IP address is 1.3, I mean, and the default gateway is 1.1, okay, which is IP address of this interface. I believe you have understood how to configure the IP addresses, okay. I did it before and just to save time, okay. And test communication. I'll be testing if PC3 here can communicate with each of these servers. Let me start. Ping. 192.168.2.3 successful then 2.2 .2. just give it time 2.2 2.2 successful then 2.4 just give it time give it time successful okay so basically the first step is done we have steps here step one step two step, step three and step four the first step is done so we proceed to step two web server we said web server basically respond to clients request in form of web pages okay so for example here the IP address of this server is 2.2 .2. so I'll go to this PC3 here then you come under web browser here click on web browser okay and type the IP address of that server which is 192.168.2.2 .2, I believe it's 2.2 .2. let me check again yeah it's 2.2 .2. and you hit enter as you can see these are web pages this was these are HTML web pages okay all right so these are just default filed on this server it's not configured yet these are just default files 
default HTML files on this server. So I'm going to this server to configure it so that it can display our own files. Okay, click on it. Then you come under services. Okay, then you come under HTTP. So these are the files that has been displayed here on the server here. Okay, these are them. So what I'll do, delete all of them. I will delete. And now let's import our own files on the web server so that this PC here can display what is configured on that server. I'll import. So I'll go to my desktop and responsive web. Then 2021 devs, Tech. There are two files here index.html, one of them. Click OK, import another CSS files. Yes, another one CSS also utility. Okay, so guys, basically, as you can see, we have configured the web server with our own HTML and CSS files. Okay. Meaning, if we try to type the IP address of that server here again, we will see only these files. So, basically, let me close this one and go back to this PC here, PC3. Remember the first time we, we typed the IP address of the server? This was the web page, okay? So, let's refresh again. Hit enter. As you can see, Guru Tech has come. As you can see, Guru Tech has come okay in our web server okay and the same you can go to the other pc and try to enter the ip address of the server 12.168.2.2 just give you time as you can see go to solution okay okay we have successfully configured the server to display the required web pages as required from the clients I believe you have understood how to configure the web server. It's pretty much simple, guys. You just come under services, then HTTP. You delete all the available default files, then import yours. Okay? And make sure you import .html files. And that file should be index.html. Okay? Point at home. Let's go to email server. This is our email server. Through this email server, we want this PC here to, to send email to this PC. And this PC here to send email to this PC. How are we going to do that? We come to this email server. Then you go to services. Then email. Okay? And now you set domain name. Okay? For example, let's say our domain name is Google for tests purposes. Google.com. Okay? And now we create users. You know, you can't access a server before you create users. Okay? Accounts. For example, the first user, let's say it's John. The, pa the password is John still. And uh, add. Before, the, before that, just click on set. Domain name set. Okay, another user, let's say Ken, the password is Ken, okay, and add. And now, you close that one. We are done with the configuration of email server. So what's remaining is to configure the clients. How are we going to do that? Very simple. You click on the PC, let's start with PC2, okay. Then, you come under email here, see, here, okay. Click on mail. Now you set your name, let's say the name is John John F. Kennedy. Okay, that's your name. And email now John at remember our domain name. The domain name was here. The domain name was commander mail google.com. Okay, so your email should be john at google.com guys kindly keenly follow what i'm doing then incoming mail server should be ip address of this 
email server which is 2.3 okay 192.163.2.3 then you copy outgoing mail server the same email server okay now username remember we've already created user accounts here which one john a password of john and ken password of ken okay you click on pc2 and say this is john okay password is john and save just close that one come to pc3 the second day user go to email then name let's say this is ken ramaphosa dr okay ken ramaphosa doctor okay and email should be ken at google dot com don't forget the domain name okay the incoming server should be a address of that server which is 2.3 2.3 the username was ken password was ken okay and you save all right so basically this is user ken okay as you can see this is ken let me just copy that uh, email address and uh, close this one then i go to the first pc which was pc2 and the the first pc was user john okay i go to user john this is user john as you can see this is user john okay so user john basically wants to send email to user ken here so compose email to that one ken at, g at google.com subject hi let's say test hi did you receive test mail and send as you can see guys a moment we try to send you know it's successful sending to ken at google.com with subject test this one email this one send successful okay so let's go to user ken and check if it has received any email from user john okay click on receive and as you can see john has just sent an email with the subject test and uh, the content is i did receive the test email okay Ken can just decide to reply this email. Let's try to reply. Yes, I did. And send. As you can see, so let's go to John and check on the received mail. Here it is. Ken has just sent an email replying to test. Okay. Okay. So let's try to send from Ken to John again. Not replying, but a new send. Compose. And let's say this one is um, hello. And we delete all of these and say yes, yes, that one. Send. Okay, it's successful. Go to user John and go to receive. There are two mails here. This one was from Ken replying to test. And this one is from Ken saying hello, okay? Okay, guys, pretty much simple. I believe you have understood how to configure email server. What you do basically, click on the email server, come to services, then email, create a domain name, then users. Make sure that users, John, password, small letters, Ken, that one, password, small letters, okay? All right, so finally FTP server. Click on FTP server, then come to services, then FTP. FTP server is used to send, upload, or download files, okay? All right, so basically we need to create a username and password before we can upload or download files from this ftp server so let's say our username is john sorry john the password is also john 
just that and give it all these privileges tick all of this okay and say add delete the first user okay we only have john which have all the privileges ftp server very simple just close that one come back to any of the pc then go to command prompt and say ftp the email address of ftp server which is 2.4 192.168.2.4 and it enter. As you can see, we've been asked to enter username which was John. Now username is okay. They need password which is also John. Hit enter. We have an error. I think the password is wrong. FTP. That one. Sorry, 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 sorry. FTP username is John. The username is correct, so password is password should be John. Small letters. As you can see, we are logged in, and now the directory has changed to FTP from C. As you can see, here was C colon backward slash that one. And now it's FTP. Okay, guys, pretty much simple. Configuring these servers are. Is very very simple okay guys that will mark the end of today's class let's see you again in the next class bye